Hello everybody and welcome to Wavecast, your source for exclusive recaps, highlights and analysis from throughout the week. It was a busy one in sports for the Blue Wave, so let's get started with girls volleyball in the main gym. The team had gone through some tough times with two consecutive losses against Greenwich and Staples, but after a solid win over Ward they were back in the groove to take on Danbury at home. The Wave scored early and often against the 10-5 Hatters, winning a close first set 25-23. After that, Darianne was on a roll. Junior Claire Naughton was absolutely unstoppable, contributing repeated kills that were part of Darianne's high-power offense. Naughton, along with sophomore Isabel Taylor and senior Nicole Schmidt, led the Wave to a 25-10 victory in the second set. The third and final set was no different. Darianne was a cut above their opponents, taking the set 25-16 and winning the game for their 14th of the season. Now we're going to move on to boys soccer who's taking on Staples at the Oval Turf. After beating rival New Canaan, the Wave was faced with a challenge, playing host to the 8-2-2 Wreckers. The game was a struggle for both sides with minutes of scoreless play passing throughout the beginning of the game. As time went on, Darianne found themselves in a tough spot, down two goals to none. Late in the second half now, the Wave was looking to climb back. First, a solid left-footed strike by senior Alex Gunya brought Darianne within one. Later, sophomore Jack Niffin capitalized on a loose ball in front of the net, tying the game. The Blue Wave hustled to put in a third goal, but was unable. They ultimately conceded a staple score with 12 left on the clock, losing a heartbreaker in the game's closing seconds. Over at Waveney Park in New Canaan, both boys and girls XC were geared up for FCX. Both teams ran well, shining bright in a field of tough competition. The boys finished the meet second only to Ridgefield, with junior Alex Osberg coming second in the race and breaking the course record. The girls came in fifth, with Ridgefield yet again taking first. DHS junior Ann Johnston came in sixth in the girls' race. Both teams are looking forward to states, which are coming up this weekend. The boys look to take down William Hall High School and take their third state title in a row. Field hockey was away for a pair of games this week. They won both in grand fashion, beating Brian McMahon 8-1 and Fairfield Ward 5-1. The team remains undefeated in league play and is looking forward to the FCAC postseason starting this weekend. And for the big story of the week, it was homecoming where DHS football was taking on Trinity Catholic at the stadium turf. The student section was loud and proud, watching senior QB Silas Wiper rack up 311 yards, going 14 for 19 on completions. Senior Nick Lombardo notched three TDs in the first half alone. More scores came from receptions by junior Griffin Ross and sophomore Shelby Grant. All in all, it was a high-scoring day for the boys in blue. They stayed undefeated at home, capturing a huge 56-29 victory. Back over on the oval turf, it was girls soccer looking to keep their winning streak alive against Ridgefield. The team battled hard, with Kelly Karsuski netting a goal in the 30th minute. The defense, led by goalie Kellen Berrigan, held off the Tigers' offense through most of the second half. However, Ridgefield brought the game to a tie late in the game, and neither team was able to make a final victory push. The game ended in a 1-1 draw. Later in the week, the team beat Staples on the road, continuing a streak that now includes 10 games without a loss. Well, folks, that's all the highlights we have for you this week. Remember, you can see us on YouTube every week or on Blue Wave News and Homeroom. In the meantime, follow us on Twitter and Instagram and like us on Facebook. On behalf of myself and everybody behind the scenes here at the show, thank you for watching. Catch you next week.